Peace, love, and light, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? So, it's been a minute, but I'm back with a message. And this message is deep, okay? So, I've been doing this 30-day challenge. I'm trying to enlighten and empower myself by reading different books. And I started out with the book of Psalm. I love the Bible. Such juicy, good information in there. Um very great encouragement and reminders, okay? So the reminder that I got today, I had to get on here and share it because I know a lot of you guys can relate to why I felt the need to share this message. So I was reading the book of Psalm and I made it to chapter seven and I was like, okay, let me share this. So boom, we got Psalm 7, 14 and 16. All right, he who is pregnant with evil and conceives trouble, gives birth to disillusionment. He who digs a hole and scoops it falls into the pit that he has made. <laughs> the trouble that he causes recoils on himself. His violence comes down on his head. So I thought about this. So I know a lot of the chosen ones have been going through it. Y'all have been very humble, allowing people to say and do things, and y'all haven't been clapping back. And God is pleased with you guys because you don't ever fight fire with fire. And we know that vengeance is mine, said the Lord, and that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now they may be formed, <laughs> which is what we're talking about. So those who have formed weapons on you, spoke on your name, cheated, lied on you, made you question yourself, made you think, believe in the manipulation and lies that they was placing over your life. This goes to show that they only dug a grave for themselves. A lot of y'all was straight sleeping with the enemy, somebody who did not want you to succeed in life. Somebody who was jealous of you and they wanted you to suffer. They wanted you to be hurt. They did things to intentionally hurt you and make you cry. And God don't play about his chosen ones, those that he loves, those that's out here, you know, servicing and encouraging, teaching and healing people. He don't play about them people. Clearly. Because they say that the trouble that they cause, that they try to cause and put on other people, it's going to fall on them. So all them lies that they told, everything is about to get exposed. So you just sit back, keep looking pretty, and allow God to take vengeance. Because you don't have to do nothing. You don't have to lay a finger. All you do is keep being humble and keep being you. Never forget that. I love you guys. Peace, love, and light.